A Palestinian woman has recounted terrifying incidents after Israeli military forces raided Al-Shifa hospital in Gaza City last week, saying the occupying regime's soldiers are raping Palestinian women before killing them. Jamila Al-Hisi, an eyewitness who was besieged in the medical complex and managed to finally get out, said on Saturday that women have been subjected to rape, starvation, torture and extrajudicial execution adding that the International Committee of the Red Cross, ICRC, is doing nothing. She went on to say that Israeli troops have forced 65 families to leave the area around the Al-Shifa medical complex whilst burning and killing entire families, noting that they have burned a building where Palestinian civilians were taking shelter. We don't even have water to break our fast and we don't know where to go, Hisi said stressing that the displaced people in the compound have not found food or water for six days. She further called on the Red Cross to provide water for the children and the sick who are being forced to drink dirty water and eat rotten food. Palestinians are being forcibly displaced by Israeli occupation forces from the area surrounding Al-Shifa hospital in northern Gaza. Hisi said, adding, we are trapped amid continued Israeli shelling. The latest development comes as the Israeli military continues to carry out airstrikes and artillery shelling in and around the Al-Shifa hospital for the seventh day in a row. On Monday, heavily armed Israeli forces stormed the Al-Shifa hospital using tanks and drones, claiming that the Palestinian resistance movement, Hamas, is using the facility to conduct and promote terrorist activity. Later that day, Israel said that terrorist forces were firing at Israeli troops, the Ministry of Health in Gaza said at the time that about 3,000 people were inside Al-Shifa seeking refuge and that those attempting to leave were being targeted by snipers and fire from helicopters. Ever since the Israeli military raided the hospital last week, reports have suggested unspeakable atrocities being carried out against the doctors, nurses and general staff, as well as the thousands of displaced people there. Israelis have admitted to executing 140 people inside Al-Shifa, including paramedics, patients and wounded, whilst the siege is still ongoing after seven days with mass arrests. Meanwhile, a group of Palestinian activists have circulated a shocking story about the Israeli soldiers raping a pregnant woman in the Al-Shifa hospital, alongside Hisi's revelation. Watan Palestinian activists quoted the husband of a woman who was raped by Israeli forces as saying that they ordered her to undress and began to beat her. She told the military she was five months pregnant not to beat her, but they continued to beat her. After hours, they took out all the women except the pregnant woman and her children. They took her in front of her husband and children and raped her, ordering the men not to close their eyes or they would be shot. Israel waged the war on the Gaza Strip on October 7th after Hamas carried out the surprise Operation Al-Aqsa Storm into the occupied territories in response to the occupying regime's intensified crimes against the Palestinian people. Since the start of the aggression, the Tel Aviv regime has killed at least 32,226 Palestinians, most of them women and children, and injured another 74,518 individuals. Tel Aviv has also imposed a complete siege on Gaza, cutting off fuel, electricity, food and water to the more...